everybody welcome back to another video so I know I said my next video was going to be my new sinking funds um, slash like my new cash envelopes but I wanted to do this video before I film that one because I'm actually going to be taking the money that is in my frontier safe which is this one and putting it in my old cash savings envelope which is this one and I'll kind of explain why in my next video um, but yeah so I wanted to do this one before that this thing is getting pretty full as you can see it's all the way to the top and I don't want to just keep stuffing money in here um, so I just want to do an update kind of count it put it all in that envelope that way this is empty and I can start um, stuffing more cash the way I'm gonna do it is I'm just going to write out the amounts in ten or hundreds, fifties, twenties, tens, fives, and ones right here, and then we'll all, um, add it all up and then put the total here at the bottom. And it'll basically be like my halfway six month mark because we're pretty much halfway through the year already. So yeah, that'll be exciting. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dump all the money out here, and then I will start counting. So here is my much loved little frontier safe. Again, I bought this at Five Below um, and it was only $5. I will link one that's similar from Amazon, but that one unfortunately isn't $5 and it's not like a pastel color. They're a little bit brighter colors. Um, but if you're just looking for like this overall look, that one is really good. Um, alternative I guess so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up that way y'all can see like how full it is and why I am taking the money out okay so as you can see here this is all the cash and I'm just gonna go ahead and take it all out so if you didn't know the 52 week challenge is basically where every week you add a dollar to the amount that you're adding in this um, or whatever you're keeping your money in so like for week one which would have been like January 1st through January 7th it would have been one dollar the next week um, week two it would be two dollars week three would be three dollars and so on so now it's completely empty as you can see and the one dollar challenge is basically whenever you have a one dollar bill you take it out and you put it in whatever you're saving your money in. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom past this part and kind of organize all the money. That way I can count it easier. It smells like money and <laughs> it smells so good. I know like a lot of people can probably relate, but I just love the way money smells. Um, I don't know. It's just like... For me, it's a nostalgic feeling or smell because um, when I was little, my grandma, she, um, well, she still is a server, but she would bring home all her tips in like a little brown paper bag and my brother and I would count it all out for her and literally it would be like this, like just like a pile of money and my brother and I would just literally count it. We were so small, I don't even think we were like counting it right, but um, for counting her money, she would give us two dollars of it so i don't know it just makes me so nostalgic like seeing money like this and also like smelling it um it reminds me of those days also please don't mind my nails i have a really bad habit of painting my nails and then i start like chipping them like almost immediately i don't know why i can never just keep a nail color like on my nails um i don't know like the english way of saying it but i just get like like ansias where i just need to like get it off of my nails it's really weird um i do keep it on if i get a manicure though so I don't know, maybe I'll get a manicure soon now that the salons are open. I just like, I, my nails are always probably going to look really crazy because, I don't know. I just can't keep the color on. So I guess since I'm kind of, um, 
doing this here and I don't really like need to think and like count, um, I'll ask, answer some like common questions that I usually get. So um, one question I always get and I always like just forget to answer is how old I am. So my birthday was this past April. I just turned 25. So that is my age. It's so funny because I always told myself like, like as far back as I can remember that I wanted a baby by, by like no later than 25, like my first child. And although I would have wanted like to be married and like in a healthy relationship and have like, you know, a regular family, um, it's just so funny how it still worked out to where I had my, ba my baby at 25. So I always think that's kind of funny, but, um, yeah, so I'm 25. Um, I have answered this before, but I get questions about what I do for work. So I am a writer. Literally, I like write articles, things like that. Um, it's a super easy job. Um, you kind of just get lucky with jobs like that are easy but pay well. Um, I know my paycheck checks, um, plural, aren't like crazy big, but I do get a lot of comments about how I get paid so much. But it really, I mean, if you're raising a baby on one income, um, you know, so far I haven't felt the effects of it just because I have everything I need for the most part right now. But I know like once daycare comes and I have to pay for that and everything, um, you know, it is tough to, to, to have a family on one income. So although it is a good paycheck, you know, pretty average, um, you know, I would have loved to have like a second income. Um, also before I forget my baby monitor is right here. So if you hear little cooing sounds and everything, that's Jericho. He's asleep upstairs in his bassinet, but it looks like he's waking up. So, um, I might have to pause this to go feed him, but yeah, so those are those little cooing sounds. Um, another question that I get pretty often is, ow, I just hit my elbow, is, um, like why I want a nose job. It's purely cosmetic. There's no like medical reason I need a nose job or anything like that. Um, I've, since as, since I can remember, honestly, I have not liked my nose. I appreciate my nose. Don't get me wrong. Um, you know, I'm glad I can like breathe through it and I'm glad that there's nothing medically wrong where like, you know, I can't smell anything or things like that. But, um, I don't know. It's just always one of those things that like, I always told myself if I was ever going to get any kind of plastic surgery, it would be a nose job because that's just, I feel like I don't want to say it'll make me happier, but I'll definitely like my appearance a lot more. So that is why I want a nose job. I have been asked before where I'm from. Um, I think because I say y'all a lot, <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm from Texas originally. I currently live in Virginia. I live on the peninsula. So if you're from Virginia or you live in Virginia, you know where that is. But yeah, that's where I live currently. And um, I'm trying to think of like other common questions that I get that aren't like too personal. Um, I think that's it. Let's just go ahead and start counting now. Okay, so let's, I'm going to kind of move these over to the side a little bit, enough to where I can bring in my journal. Okay, so here's my journal. So obviously hundreds is zero dollars, fifties is zero dollars. Let's see how much is in the twenties. Yeah, 20, 40, 60, 80. Okay, here are fives, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65.
Okay, and here are all the ones. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. I'm going to set this down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighty. One dollars. Alrighty, so I am going to go ahead and add all of this up now and let's see how much it is. So we have 0, 0, that's 0, 80 plus 140 plus 65 plus 81. So three hundred and sixty six dollars and I'm just going to write that really big. So 366 and that is with um, being halfway through the year. So that's my 52 week and my $1 challenge. Now I'm going to take all of that money and let me just unravel this really quick. Perfect timing because he's waking up. So this envelope I'm doing away with as far as like a sinking fund. I'm not putting any money towards this anymore. Um, I still have the envelope in there, but um, yeah, I'm not going to keep track of it either. So, 366. I'm definitely going to have to take these and re or what is what is the word like cash them in for regular money. I don't even think this is going to fit in the envelope. Um, yeah, that's going to be a no. Okay, well there it goes. Um, I might just take this to the bank honestly and deposit it and then just keep track of that I have 366 for this challenge. Either way, this challenge um, or these challenges are for a savings. So either way, this money was going to go into my savings account. So I may just take this to the bank and put it in the savings. But um, for now, it's just in this envelope really bad <laughs> but now this is empty and I can um, start putting more money in it as the weeks go on so yeah thank y'all so much for watching again the next video will be my new cash envelopes and sinking funds I might even do like um, I know a lot of people have been asking for like a beginner's um, guide kind of to like cash envelopes and sinking funds so I may just put those two together in that one video um, but yeah so hopefully that will be out in the next week or so um, I want to do that before my next paycheck video but yeah thank you all so much for watching I'm going to go check on my baby because he is about to start crying I'll see you all in the next video and yeah bye